2023 saw a massive wave of layoffs. In the tech industry alone, 240,000 people lost their jobs. 2024 is off to a brutal start, which means more layoffs could come. Wipro says it's aligning its business and talent to the changing market environment. After reports claim that hundreds of mid-level employees will be laid off, Wipro's headcount fell for the fifth time in a row. अगली खबर मंदी के खतरे के बीच नौकरियां जानी शुरू हो गई। आगे की व्यवस्थी सी व्यवस्थी So India has the third largest startup ecosystem in the whole world, with over one lakh twelve thousand startups currently functioning in the country, and out of them, hundred startups are even unicorn. But despite of having so much big ecosystem in the country. the unemployment rates are crazy high and the employees are getting fired every next day but why all are these happening why employees are not satisfied with your company and why employees are constantly getting laid off for starters this is the part 1 of the everything wrong with the indian startup ecosystem where in this part we will majorityly focus on the problems faced by employees and in the later parts we will talk and discuss about the problems faced by the indian startups management work culture no ethics and manager treats like they have hired slaves not employees 18 hours a day work if don't agree to manager commands you will be fired next month hr is a puppy of manager and manager is a pet of his own manager they all are alike and literally exploits the employees there is nothing that one can like working here as you can see people are agitated they are furious because you know the working conditions aren't fine they are not good they are facing real big problem and also they have no security like they don't know their future you know they can be fired anytime and also uh, one thing we have noticed while going through the research process of this video that most of these uh, bad reviews are from the companies are from the startups which grew exponentially uh, which became popular in no time like these companies never existed 5 years back so the problems so after going through the numerous reviews and after talking with the employees working in the startups we got to know their problems and one of the main problems is management yep employees are not happy with the way management functions they are not happy with the way management treats them because management is constantly on the head of the employee like they are you know overloading overburdening employees with the work they are giving targets after targets and no matter how much you work these targets will never get fulfilled if you do a certain target they will say you know this was nothing you have a bigger target to achieve and this go on and on and on and this completely kills the work life management of an employee and you know what happens in these companies no matter how much you work no matter how hard you work you will never be credited the way you should be and in some cases someone else will take the credit of your work you know it's very toxic it's you know completely messed up situation right now i don't care about your family if you want to participate in including all it is so कंपनीज and you know employees don't know about their future in the company actually they don't know anything about them in the company because they are getting fired left right and center like actually they can be fired anytime anywhere while sleeping while driving a car while playing they can be fired anytime they like they are getting fired via a phone call yes can you imagine how bad it is hello hello yes ma'am uh hi हाँ हाँ बोली ओके सो देयर इज अ रोल रिटेंडेंसी राइट नाउ एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली योर रोल इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एनी मोर सॉरी सो आपका रोल अभी रिक्वायर्ड नहीं है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में क्यों 
रोल रिटेंडेंसी है कंपनी कॉल तो मैम व्हाट इज द रीजन मैम सो अनप्रोफेशनल सो अनएथिकल लैक ऑफ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस healthy working condition and proper work life balance is a joke in indian corporate scenario you cannot expect these companies to have a healthy working condition and you know my friend healthy working conditions and proper work life balance and indian startups and companies they do not go together like you know so much contrast you know also these companies thinks that employees are machine they can do whatever they have been asked at any given time guys employees are not machine they're human favoritism i think it's a global issue because the one who does all the chart work is favored more I don't say you don't do chart work you must be doing chart work you know chart work <laughs> anyways so one who does all the chart work is favored more and this gives the opportunity for others working in the company and this has been the most prominent issue in this startup space and in the reviews maybe due to the high funding dependence startup founders generally come up with ground breaking ideas that are going to either disrupt the space or revolutionize it they have to thus depend on a funding to scale their operations because the resources of course the founders don't have any the private equity guys and the venture capitalist guys start beating down on their neck when the founders who promised 10x and 5x growth in 5 to 7 years can't provide them with that also market has been so much fast and dynamic that some founders find rapid growth is the only way to beat the competition and get ahead of them and you know what happens due to all this hustle and bustle and toxicity eventually these startups you know never be able to pave their way to profitability and they are not able to create a strong working culture and employee base and end up being in an investment loop to survive and to make a startup or company successful the company the organization has to invest training their employees they have to also invest in making them feel valued there. they have to make them feel that their efforts are not going to waste and they are going to be credited for it the line is as more relevant than now that whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger and these organizations that have kept up with their culture of working hard culture of valuing their employees and making them feel welcome those company go on to become legacy ones the solution actually is not that simple we have to look at it from a broader perspective considering not only the problems faced by these startups but also the reason behind them taking these kind of steps See, the startup ecosystem has been following these steps like a trend and to make a major change they all have to take this leap together they have to focus on building a strong employee base that is not only satisfied but also wants to work towards his purpose a satisfied employee is not only more productive but also wants to stay in your organization for long so while researching about this video and you know after reading all the reviews we have noticed that all the top rated companies by the employees are those company which are now a legacy brands that have been there for more than decade and these positive reviews from employees show why they are at top and why they have been there for so long now